Welcome back, YouTube. This is Corey, and I first want to say I'm sorry about the late updates. Um, got busy with uh, personal uh, things, um, so didn't really have time to uh, do any YouTube uh, stuff. I mean, I'm trying to make it work. Uh, you know, trying to find out a good time to uh, post videos and uh, give you updates. But uh, today is a, a good day, so in that regards, let me give you a little update of what's going on. So first off, what you probably have seen on Facebook, YouTube, and all the other social medias, and even on TV now, the new official trailer of the Venom movie coming out in October. Now we all were waiting for this since the first time we were initially introduced to Venom. And Spider-Man 3 with Tommy McGuire and Topher Grace. We wanted a Venom movie. We wanted an origin movie. We wanted Venom to be badass, just like the comics, and on the big screen. And today, we officially have just seen what Marvel and what uh, Sony Pictures has just came up with. They are giving us the Venom that we all wanted and were eager to receive. Um, first, I'd like to tell you, watching the watching the first trailer, I was a little skeptic. I thought, all right, it's gonna be, you're not gonna see a lot of the symbiote, you're not gonna have a lot of origin on the symbiote uh, alien life form. But after seeing the this new trailer coming out, you get a little bit more in, um, in depth on how the symbiote is an alien life form and how it attaches to people, um, especially when people are dealing with uh, depression and different uh, mental issues. The symbiote latches onto that and feeds off of that. It's a, uh, it's it's not good, but that's what this alien life form does. During that trailer, what we did see was how it controls the wearer. The, it controls its its uh, host by manipulating the mind, manipulating the thought process of rational, what is right, what is wrong. You know, what what good morals do you have? Uh, the symbiote takes control of the host and abuses it and breaks it down so it's compliant. Big names that are in this movie. Number one, Tom Hardy. If you do not know who Tom Hardy is, I recommend you check out some of his other films he has done. He has was he was in um, <clears throat> sorry, Mad Max remake. He was also in Batman um, Dark Knight Rises. He played Bane. Yes, Bane, Mr. Wayne. He played Bane. He was in Durkin. He was one of the fighter pilots. And he also was in another movie. I can't take it off the top of my head. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but he also played a... Uh, uh, anyway, if I remember it, or if anyone else is watching it and, and knows what the movie I'm talking about or what I missed, please put down in the comments below. Um, you know, let me know. Oh, I apologize. But this is the first time you're actually going to get to see Tom Hardy without a mask. What I mean by that is in all his roles he has done, he has worn a mask. So basically, he hides his mouth and usually does his acting through his eyes and his um, his voice. Which is weird because most actors they like to show their mouth, they like to act with their facial expressions and all that, but Tom Hardy is, is different, unique. And that's why I enjoy his his roles in, his, in films that I've seen him in. Yes, it is, this is a comic book, yes, my friend from Volks Comics and more, Alex, will definitely give you more in-depth 
as as it approaches um, on on things that I must have miscovered or did not cover in this video. Uh, this will be a two-part video. This is the first part. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Well, let me get back to track. It's taking place in San Francisco. I'm not sure of the time. Uh, the the, the time era. It seems like modern society right now, maybe 2019, 2020. I mean, it's not off the too futuristic, but it's still set in modern times. So we're gonna get we're gonna get that that feel like oh, it could happen to any of us, you know, in this present day um, life that we are so graciously living right now. In the comics, I believe that Venom was an anti-villain. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he was an anti-villain villain to uh, Peter Parker, who played Spider-Man. Peter Parker tried to save Eddie Brock um, multiple times after he after he was possessed by the symbiote and gave you the black suit Spider-Man. This is going off of Spider-Man 3. Um, this is the only reference that I have to fall back on right now, because that's the only time I've seen Venom um, being done in the big screen. Um, now, you can go back and look at the comics, because there's tons of comics, and I mean tons of comics, of Spider-Man, and then you have Venom, or you also just have a Venom uh, comic line. Um, timeline uh, of his own comics. Um, that that's pretty cool. What I hope to see in this in in this movie coming out in October, I really hope that we get to see the other side of the symbiotes. Um, I hope that we get to in, be introduced to my favorite uh, supervillain. In the in uh, Spider-Man franchise is Carnage. Uh, I just like the red and the black. I mean, yeah, a lot of people like the black and the, uh, black and the white, but I just always loved Carnage. Uh, he was more crazy. He was more insane. Uh, thanks to the comics, Casey uh, Wayne, he was just an, an insane asylum inmate that basically that symbiote was like, fuck, shoot, I will definitely hook on to you and use you as a host to cause mayhem and chaos. And um, I hope I hope we get to see that um, in this new movie. But that's not what the movie's about. I think it's more of, hello, welcome to Venom. We finally, um, the trailer also did uh, show us his face and the, the eyes the eyes of the mask that you know covers Tom Hardy's face and the long tongue that you've seen in all the comics um, and the dark the dark monotone voice which that is it's down to I want to say detail from the comic because in the comic his in, in, in internal monologue from the symbiote was very monotone very dark very um, not disturbing but very enforcive and um, very mysterious in a way that it set the, it set the mood. Um, so I I was I was pleased by that. Um, are we gonna get are we gonna get a little sneak peek of you know Spider Man uh, by Tom Holland's or Andrew Garfield or? Um, any other other uh, actors that portrayed Spider-Man? I'm not sure, but that would probably be like a cutscene because knowing Marvel, they always leave you an Easter egg uh, end scene. So I would recommend you when you see this movie, stay for the credits, stay for the end credits, watch them, chit chat with your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, yourself, that random guy who has like this fanny pack. With a whole bunch of snacks, talk and wait until the end of the video, the movie, and hopefully you might get to see that. But um, as for this part of this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here. 
I will be back for my second part of my video review of Venom and give you a little more in depth and um, a little bit more uh, fun facts. And so, with that said, thank you very much for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day. I'm Corey. Sign out.